Let me uh, continue now with the uh, with the presentation of the uh, guidance on the operational analysis. The main aim uh, of the guidance is to understand existing governance frameworks, identify policy instruments, potential stakeholders, and present the state of the art of agora areas as uh, local strategic resources for urban regeneration interventions in agora cities. Uh, to support territorial partners to identify opportunities and develop instruments for redevelopment of agora areas in cities and regions. The guidance will support uh, 10 agora territorial partners uh, to develop their analytical studies as part of the DT122 study reports on the state of the art in agora cities. Those analytical studies of territorial partners will be used as a communication tool for discussion with stakeholders on workshops when they will be, design, when they will be designing urban regeneration agendas. The guidance, they are structured in uh, six main chapters. We have here strategic objectives, governance framework and decision-making processes, policy instruments, territorial analysis, stakeholder identification in cities and pandemic experience. The main aim of, uh, the, of strategic objectives is uh, to present reasons for developing urban regeneration agendas and to present uh, strategic objectives of uh, agora territories. Of course, depending on the administrative scale, they will focus on the agora project. The main aim of the second chapter, the governance framework and decision-making processes, is to present the state of the art and analysis of the governance framework, decision-making processes, and participation procedures. The chapter is divided um, in three sub-chapters. The first one is devoted to administrative structure of the country, where the territorial partners will present their legal administrative structure from the national to the local level with the, including district and uh, communities with their formal bodies and uh, uh, roles in decision making processes to another level is devoted the second subchapter local uh, govern uh, local and regional government structure where partners will present their legal legal administrative structure of the city or region with their formal and informal bodies and roles in decision-making processes. We give a special attention also to the decision-making process in the special planning because it's very important for the project. Here, partners will present special planning system from the national to the local level and present also together with the formal and informal bodies, their roles and procedures in the planning decision-making processes. So as administrative structure of the country can be um, can be presented in the table, which we, which is a part of the template which you which you all receive, and you can also present uh, the content in some graphical schemes. For the local and regional government structure, we have here some examples how to present also the process uh, at which stages some some uh, organizations are and uh, stakeholders are, are stepping in the process. And uh, what is here important that you present the the uh, the administrative structure of the city because it's very different from country to country. Another very important uh, uh, chapter is devoted to policy instruments. What we talked about uh, a lot of this uh, topic already. Uh, the main aim of, uh, of these uh, policy instruments is to provide different types of existing policy instruments, uh, including governance models for the redevelopment and uh, revalorization of agora areas, with a focus on the thematic clusters in cities and or regions and uh, to examine how those local governments and other decision-making bodies from different countries are using those tools to support implementation of important decisions on urban regeneration focused on thematic clusters in cities and regions. Uh, there are exist many policy instruments type existing. We have here like uh, partnering networking instruments. Here we uh, 
uh, which they include uh, some networks of uh, government body, bodies with a com it's combination of uh, formal and informal or, uh, 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 organizations. And here we have also some, uh, we can, uh, they are part of it, uh, some organizational models, uh, which with their, who are supporting the internal processes in public administrations. And uh, the next one are, are management policy instruments. The, those acts as, a, as an interaction interfaces for co-designing, co-implementing, co-management of urban assets in the form of facilitating business to business, landowner to business, governance to business and governance to citizens. Here are some package teams to assist private owners to identify partnership and uh, funding op uh, options uh, to overcome the, uh, the current regulatory uh, uh, processes. The legal man mandating instruments are uh, regulations, directives, laws, decrees. Some, uh, some uh, cities will also develop some procedural uh, simplifications for fast tracking uh, procedures for uh, revalorization. Re uh, uh, financial or economic uh, instruments are including some taxes, tax ab abandonment, subsidies and awards, which are quite, in, uh, quite popular and the most uh, used uh, tools. Uh, here we have uh, like under those we count also on uh, creative uh, uh, financing models for building land recovery and reuse uh, of, of the areas and other, I'm sure that there are also some other forms of collaborative funding existing. Then we have informational endorsing and capacity building instruments. Uh, those are some campaigns, guidelines, training, conferences, and, uh, and uh, some new uh, models for um, consolidating capacity building. And uh, exist, there are existing also some hybrids. Uh, those are like strategies, uh, action plan, uh, platforms who are combining above uh, before mentioned poli uh, policy instruments. Uh, those policy instruments when be, uh, then will be, uh, which you will identify, be, will be then categorized, assessed and compared. And the collection of those policy instruments will be an important part of the Agora uh, toolkit, which will be very useful for the further activities of the Agora project. Policy instruments uh, chapter is split in three uh, main subchapters: uh, the uh, special and master planning instruments, which are legal uh, policy instruments binding for all. Uh, we are looking here for, to, for the description of the current basic uh, special planning documents. Uh, they will be used for the, to define strategic objectives and also used for some uh, for territorial analysis. So that's why we separated those kind of instruments because they are formal for, um, for uh, in all countries. Then we have additionally, we have other planning instruments. Um, those are other planning instruments who could support the implementation of urban regeneration projects. I'm sure that uh, cities, they already have some strategies like uh, expert studies on urban regenerations or some other uh, expert studies, or they have uh, developed integrated sustainable urban development strategies, which were developed uh, to get EU funds from the uh, integrated territorial investment mechanism. So we are speaking about other planning instruments. And then we have a special category devoted to innovative policy instruments. Uh, those are uh, mostly initiated by cities. And um, uh, though we are looking for innovative policy instruments and governance uh, models as uh, creative solutions which support it uh, uh, support is, uh, uh, supported the implementation of uh, important decisions on the city and regional level. So we are looking for here that uh, we expect that at least uh, three policy instruments will be presented uh, uh, by territorial uh, uh, 
partners focused on the, of course, on the thematic cluster which they will choose. And of course, beside not just editorial partners, also we as scientific partners will, will prepare and uh, uh, prepare some uh, policy instruments too. So uh, here I have, I won't go through the detail. Uh, we, here is a very structured uh, description of uh, each policy instrument. It is of course adapted to the uh, sub chapters, which I presented before. Uh, why is structure so much? Because uh, we didn't want to lose um, to lose some data. That's why the, the structure is like uh, very, uh, have many, many things. So here I will present you some policy instruments as uh, innovative uh, uh, cases. The first one is the uh, Agentur Stadtwoman. It's, uh, it was an initiative of the city of Chemitz from uh, uh, Germany. Uh, it is not a, a profit-orientated organization. The goal is to bring back uh, many residential buildings uh, in decline, also abandoned ones, back to the real estate market. This agency works as a networking hub, as a contact point uh, connecting different stakeholders like uh, city governments, owners, uh, potential investors, users uh, from neighborhoods or, and civil society who are interested in creative and uh, sustainable use of uh, buildings. Then another uh, is, uh, innovative uh, policy instrument is participation budget. This is a case from uh, uh, Rennes, from France. It's an experimental policy tool to support bottom-up project led by citizens. It's a, full, it's a tool to foster new ideas and cre uh, create a direct link between public authorities and cities. Uh, so here everyone uh, in this, uh, through this um, instrument, everyone can propose a project. So and then there are different activities and events organized uh, to raise the awareness of the of the importance of uh, citizen participation and about those projects. So then the, there is uh, the people are then also can uh, vote online for the projects. Um, uh, and then uh, this is the input for the um, local authorities. Then the basic information which which projects are. Uh, will be then uh, financed. The another one, it's an online uh, tool. It's uh, called Carto Frisch. Uh, it's like a brownfield map. I'm sure that there are many platforms like this, but we are talking about two. So this is one um, informational tool, actually. Uh, it is uh, a large data hub as an online tool developed to identify brownfields uh, and to support uh, uh, public administration, local authorities and project leaders to get informed. And this is a tool um, which could foster the creation of projects on underused uh, spaces and brownfields to address areas uh, in decline. And we move now to another uh, important uh, package. The first one was more devoted to the uh, to the governance and policy instruments. Now we are speaking about territorial analysis. The main aim of uh, of territorial analysis is to identify and analyze potential uh, potential agora areas for urban regeneration interventions and their characteristics from different. Uh, perspectives, those areas will be analyzed by physical, legal, socioeconomic aspects, uh, their potential and needs will be, uh, will be uh, analyzed. Um, so um, here, uh, territorial partners will identify um, uh, which uh, are the potential areas which will be addressed in the, um, in the Agora uh, project with the focus on, of course, on the thematic cluster they will choose. Territorial analysis are split also in uh, three main chapters. The first one is the city profile, uh, where you will provide the uh, description of the, uh, of the city with some data. Then we have a thematic cluster profile, which is devoted to the state of the art, to the description of the state of the art of the chosen thematic cluster. Uh, to present the current uh, situation. It will be this thematic cluster profile description. 
will be partly uh, also um, uh, pr uh, will present a summary of the inventory uh, of uh, uh, as a result of the inventory of agora areas, which is the next uh, the last up chapter in this uh, uh, under uh, territorial analysis uh, topic. The inventory of uh, the agro areas will identify potential areas for urban regeneration, of course, focus on the thematic uh, cluster. Uh, the city profile here, there are some guiding, uh, um, some guide, uh, some guidelines, how to prepare the description, the, the structure will lead you to, to present them uh, uh, in, in the same way for, for all territorial partners. You will also prepare uh, some uh, a SWOT analysis from different, uh, um, based on different characteristics. Uh, the second one is thematic cluster profile. It's also, it's very well uh, like uh, structures. You will follow the, the structure to, to describe the, this, um, uh, this topic. Here we are asking also territorial uh, partners to prepare a map, maybe on uh, uh, with the land use or uh, orthophoto maps with the uh, with uh, identified potential areas which will be addressed in Agora project. So this, uh, as I told you before, some some issues will be also uh, this will be very useful for uh, useful as a communication tool with uh, stakeholders to so, to show you, to show them where those areas are and uh, which uh, and uh, which uh, about which you will discuss. Maybe you will have uh, you will find then later so also some additional ones and. Uh, you will upload it up or, or upgrade this uh, with the stakeholders. But for initial phase, you need to identify them in as part of the uh, operational analysis that you will have a, a content uh, and the document to, to describe. Uh, the inventory of agora areas you will uh, describe for each uh, each area, uh, potential area, which it will be identified in, on the map. It will be described through through um, to, uh, based on those guidelines. Um, another part of the uh, guidance on the operational analysis is also devoted to the stakeholder identification with the main aim to identify all relevant stakeholders at the city or regional level. Uh, those are administrative departments, utilities, enterprises, scientific institutions, civil societies, et cetera, that will potentially participate in the future decision-making processes uh, within the Agora project. More about stakeholder identification, uh, more about stakeholders uh, will uh, will uh, uh, will present uh, um, Torsten from Pakora in after after my presentation. Um, since the Agora project was co-financed, also because uh, we uh, we said that we will address this uh, COVID actually pandemic uh, uh, situation also in Agora project. We think that uh, we devoted one special um, chapter as part of the operational analysis as, a, as an initial part of this, uh, of this uh, topic. The main aim of this uh, uh, chapter is uh, to describe Agora City's regions, exp regional uh, experience in decision-making processes, engagement of stakeholders for important city projects in time of pandemic situation. Uh, we developed here also some, because it's very hard, you know, to, um, uh, to um, how to describe, uh, uh, how to, to, to describe this, uh, uh, this uh, how to focus on these issues. We prepared some like guide, uh, like questions who can, uh, which you can use as guidelines to prepare, uh, to prepare the, the description and to, to describe your experience uh, related to um, COVID. Uh, guidelines and uh, data collection, how you will prepare uh, those uh, uh, state-of-the-art uh, reports. You will use different approaches like desk analysis, what analysis, some interviews with some experts and uh, 
because uh, analysis they are quite extensive. I know it's it's time consuming, consuming, but it's a uh, it's a very important uh, part of the project because it's an, an important base. Uh, because and because there is many different topics addressed uh, which we need to address uh, for the purpose of our uh, project results. It is important that uh, you territorial partners involve in the process also people from other departments of public administration or have some also some interviews with some external experts which which will support you to develop those analyses. Uh, you will uh, prepare those uh, analyses based on the, um, of course, textual and graphical uh, presentation of the content. Another part, aside of the, as part of the operational analysis, is devoted also to the selection of best cases. Some of them are already serene presented. Um, so, and we we all need to. Uh, uh, scientific partners and territorial partners, we need to prepare a, a collection, a compendium of best uh, of best cases. This is also our task. So I, we are proposing here that each uh, Agora partner pre pre provide uh, three minimum three best cases, uh, which are two of the minimum uh, two of them. Uh, from the same thematic cluster, which is like a minimum. So you can have, I don't know, two cases from the second cluster and one from the industrial or a combination of those. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, uh, we need to, to, because many activities are running in parallel, uh, we need to combine those activities at the same time. So this uh, guidance on the operation and analysis in partner cities is the first step of the op uh, operation and analysis, an analysis package of the task, or, uh, task one, analysis and instruments. Uh, the second step uh, is, uh, is uh, there are uh, study reports on the state of the art in our cities. We will he here have 10 reports of uh, all territorial partners, which uh, the need to be, the final version needs to be delivered till the uh, February uh, next year. And based on those reports, uh, we, Urban Planning Institute, will prepare a cross-analysis report um, uh, a month uh, later. Deadlines. <laughs> Since there are many, uh, Many, many uh, like I said, many activities are overlapping and because some activities as part of the task one needs to be finalized before territorial partner analysis, we here have, uh, we are here uh, uh, providing the um, guidelines, not the guidelines, the, the, the deadlines, which parts of the analysis we need, uh, we need first because uh, those uh, those uh, those parts will be an important input to uh, to finalize uh, our activities, which need to be provided already uh, already this year. So, um, what is what we are uh, like uh, need first? First, uh, we are uh, asking you to provide us the description of the best cases, stakeholder identification and uh, policy instruments uh, 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 chapters till the end of November. And then later you can, uh, you can uh, focus on other chapters because those, um, uh, those, uh, 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 this content is very important because the policy instruments in the best cases, it's a, a part of the Agora toolkit, which needs to be developed till the end of the year, and this will be very and we, uh, this will be useful when you will start the uh, when you will start pre uh, to discuss uh, with stakeholders in uh, workshops when you will be uh, co-designing urban regeneration agendas. And that's all from from me uh, from uh, my uh, from my side. Uh, thank you.